All right, Libra, let's get into your reading. Your overall energy starting off with time to go and building blocks. Did you walk out? Did you leave? Walk away from something? I feel like now you're trying to build your own stability, have a fresh start, getting yourself grounded. You want something stable long term. I feel like you're at the end of like cleaning up a mess. Could, could be the beginning for some of you. Uh, your person has never ending story and the fates. I feel like this person may have kept you stuck in like some kind of karmic cycle. False starts, false starts, <laughs> wheels are stuck in the mud, tires are spinning, you're not going anywhere. So I feel like you're like, you, you, you just wanted to walk away. There's nothing to build here with this person. Although they do feel like it's faded and destined, they couldn't give you that, that traction that you were looking for. But let's get into it, Libra. Let's get into it. Um, starting off with your person's current energies. See what's going on with them. Uh, keep in mind, this keeps wanting to come out. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> Juggling. Should I? Shouldn't I? Will I? Won't I? What do I do? Um, keep in mind, Libra, uh, it is a general collective reading. So when I say your person's energies, they can be yours. So feel free to flip-flop and reverse. Um, they're going back and forth with Ace of Cups. I feel like they want a new beginning in love. They're feeling like this is faded and destined, but you may have had to walk away from them. Cards are shuffling real weird for you guys today. Oh, confusing energy going on. What else? Current situation. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands, High Priestess. Was this person keeping secrets from you? Did they have another family or something like that? Or I feel like there's something to do with waiting, following intuition, or keeping secrets. They want victory and success here. They could be just waiting for you to come back to them keeping that like hope and faith that you're going to come back. You may have been in a commitment with them or have children, family, house, home, all of that. And you just, uh, it seemed like a karmic cycle or something along those lines. What else? Current situation for Libra's person, the world. Some of you could live at a distance. There could be travel involved. I have Nine of Cups and Two of Swords. I'm trying to make a head over heart decision here. There's a lot of juggling with this person. What do I do? You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. A lot of trying to make a decision here. But there's also waiting involved as well. So it's like, what is going on with this person? I am feeling a little bit of a selfish energy coming from them smug selfish i feel like this person really liked the uh attention that you gave to them but i'm feeling there was something of a cycle going on here but let's see what what are this person's intentions towards you ace of pentacles yeah they want a stable new beginning but then we have the moon breadcrumbing they may want to balance the scales here a little bit, but I feel like this person, they could have been giving to two or breadcrumbing you. Yeah, there's ignoring, rejection, boredom. They feel if they come towards you, Libra, that you are going to reject them. Let's see, intentions, intentions, seven of cups, confusion, options. This is very strange energy, Libra. It's very strange. And it, even their overall energy is strange. It's like they feel this is destined and faded, but yet it's a never-ending story of cycles. And their energy is wishy-washy like that too. Their intentions. Their intentions are, I want a stable new beginning, but then the moon... Six of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Seven of Cups, Options, Confusion, Ignoring, Bored, Rejecting, Breadcrumbing, Leaving You in the Dark, or Keeping Things in the Dark, like on the DL, or, or something like that. I don't know. The energy is very strange here. 
What else? Their intentions towards Libra. What are their intentions towards Libra? And that could be why you were like, I got to go. There, there's This isn't ever going to have a strong foundation. There's nothing to build on here. I got the Empress in reverse. Three of Cups. Taurus energy. They could have put you in a third party situation or they have a child with somebody else or something like that, male or female. There's no gender in tarot. For some of you, maybe this person just likes to go out, socialize, drink, have fun, party, be irresponsible, not, not be grounded or responsible here. Takes no responsibility for their actions. Some, some of you may have wanted to start a family, they didn't, or somebody could have gotten pregnant in the mix here. Take that how it resonates, because there's a few different stories I'm seeing with this. Either they're stuck in another commitment, or they, they just, they can't commit to you. Commitment might make them feel stuck, so they just act single. Oh. Oh, let's see, what are the blockages here? Sorry, Libra. I'm not, I'm not digging this person's energy at all, at all. What are the blockages? Yep, yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. You guys are not on the same page with what you want in life, relationships. Confusion, yep. Options, I have um, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Blockages, blockages, Five of Swords, conflicts, blockages, blockages here for Libra. Stuck. Somebody is stuck. This person is very stuck. Hands are tied, keeping themselves stuck. For some of you, they could be in prison. Just throwing that out there. There could be like a mother figure or something that's blocking this as well. That like just doesn't want you guys to be together. Or it could be someone they're still in a commitment with. Take it how it resonates, you guys. It's a general reading. Let's see. What else blockages here? Blockages for Libra and this person. Blockages. Page of Wands and Strength. Yeah, see, I feel like there was no, there was no, con you had no confidence in this. You had no strength. This person has no courage. There was a spark. There could have been chemistry. Attraction, passion, desire, all of that, but... I just feel like this person, they were breadcrumbing you. They were dangling you along. They were juggling. They couldn't make up their mind. They may have had, they may have had something else going on, a family, a marriage, a commitment, and put you as a third party. Let's see, how do they truly feel about you? They could have kept that as a secret too, because I do see something with a secret and then and then um, clean it up. They could have been keeping something a secret from you and the truth came out. Let's see, how do they feel about you? How does this person truly feel about you, Libra? How does this person feel about Libra? Ace of Cups I saw. <sighs> So there is emotion. I feel like they want a new beginning with you. Maybe they want to come and level this up with you. Uh, Four of Wands, 11, 11, make a wish. Wish is coming true. Twin flame soulmate. Commitment, a reason to celebrate a level up. So instead of just being somebody on the side or friends with benefits, let's be exclusive. But then the wheel came in reverse. Things, man. Pisces energy. Trying to change perspective or gain some clarity. You stop this. You stop this connection to gain clarity or change perspective. The star. Aquarius energy. 
King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Are you juggling too? Are you both juggling? You're making a decision. So this is their interpretation. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the truth, but it's their truth and it's how they feel. Okay, so take it how, how you want to. I feel like this person feels that you've made a decision to pull your energy back. They feel like you're ignoring them or rejecting them and you're sneaking off now. You're sneaking away. Which you could be. You could be. If this person kept yourself, kept, I don't know why I can't talk, kept you trapped or stuck, they might feel like you have an earth sign that, that you're moving towards or choosing over them. They feel like you're their wish come true, but they couldn't give you. Yeah, you. they breadcrumbed you, you felt stuck, so you walked away. You made this decision. Could be going towards a, a Leo, Aries, Sag. Hmm. Let's see, What's what are you going to do? What's the outcome here? Keep in mind, you have free will, so do they. So it can change the course of the outcome here. But what's the potential outcome here for Libra and this person? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, judgment, big decision or reconciliation. What's going to happen here? For Libra, Queen of Swords, you're in reverse. They're coming towards you to reconcile and I feel like you're done. Yep, you're done. You're done. You are done. You probably are blocking them on everything. You're not, you're starting, see, you're walking away. They're stressing. You're walking away. Time to go. Don't let the door hit you. <laughs> you're gone. You're done. You're starting your own new, new beginning here. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. So who is this with? Who is this with? Who is this new beginning with? For Libra. What is this new beginning? A, a soulmate, the lovers. Could be a Gemini. A chariot, Cancerian energy. You're moving forward, Libra. Oh, some of you, you're just staying single. Building back your independence, loving yourself again, getting yourself on a stable, stable place. You're rebuilding your life right now and you're focusing on you. I just saw an orb and there was literally nothing falling. I don't know if you saw that. There wasn't dust or anything, but I saw it on the screen. Let's see. Yep. You're rejecting them. You're rejecting this person. Focusing on you, your stability, finding a soulmate, someone who you're supposed to be with who's going to give you what you want and treat you right. Yep. Ooh, you could be talking to somebody or texting or talking online. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But for the most part, I feel like you're just re regaining your stability, your independence here, and focusing on yourself. All right, let's see. Biggest obstacles for Libra, moment to moment. You're just going with the flow. You might struggle at times to just go with the flow, let things be. Adventure. Don't mind isolation I was gonna say don't isolate yourself I feel like some of you might be shutting down and isolating go on an adventure live in the moment have fun you're postponing things you could have people asking you out on dates or friends asking you to hang out and I feel like you're kind of in that isolation mode which is not necessarily bad especially if you're doing healing work reflecting work but don't stay stuck there too long because it can drag you down, you know? Um, let's see. 
Let's see advice for Libra. Advice for Libra. Destruction, tower moment, unexpected change brings new opportunities. I'm, I'm going to ask you um, a yes or no question. Ask yourself a yes or no question out loud or in your head, and I'll tell you the answer. All right, three, two, one. The answer to your question is yes. And then I have union, reconciliation, eternal love, your time has come. This could be a union or reconciliation with yourself or with a soulmate that I feel is coming towards you. I really feel like most of you aren't going back to this person. All right, what would they like to say to you? Yeah, you're setting big goals now for yourself. What would this person like to say to you, Libra? What would they like to say to you? What would they like to say if they could? You were the best thing in my life. Yes, you were. I'm so attracted to you. That's, I saw a lot of that versus love, emotions. I was seeing more of like an attraction, chemistry, that kind of a thing. Uh, just being near you is intoxicating, see? It, it was more of like, you were more of like a drug or an addiction to this person. And that's why, like, they're mistaking faded and destined for passion and chemistry, you know? And I feel like you, you get it. All right, what would you say back to them? What would you say back to them? What would you say back to this person? Anything? You, you have nothing to say. You're done. You have nothing to say to this person. Nothing's coming out. Other than I know you're watching me. <laughs> Which I did see that. I was going to say that. They're observing you or watching you online. They, they don't. They don't like it. All right. Let's get some letters, numbers, zodiac signs to see who it is you're dealing with. All right, could be first, middle, last name, initials, could spell a name, could spell a word of significance, um, place it where you see fit. All right, I have X, C, K, E, U, T, Y, G, Q, N. I also have P, I, R. So P, I, R, X, C, K, E, Q, N, G, Y, U, T. All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, angel numbers. Um, by the way, for angel numbers, I am seeing number 22 and 77. Seven. So look up angel numbers 22 two and 77. Seven. Um, let's see, what do we have for numbers? We have 1, 3, 8, 11. So it could be the 1st, 3rd, 8th, or 11th of any month, 13th, 18th. Um, could be January, March, August, or November. Zodiac signs could be there's there's uh, sun sign. It's like post Mercury retrograde. I'm like, oh. <laughs> could be there's sun sign, strong placements in their charts, or something could happen during that season, like Libra season, for instance. All right, let's see what do we got. Capricorn, Pisces, Libra. And Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Libra, and Virgo. I did see other signs here too. Um, I had Heavy Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, um, Aquarius, Pisces. <sighs> Could be anyone, you guys. There's a lot of other signs that showed up. But anyway, Libra, that is what I have for you this week.